okay, find all vertical asymptotes. And basically what you're doing is you're trying to find where the denominator is equal to zero because the division by zero can cause a vertical asymptote, right? So what I would do is factor first the denominator to see what's going on here. And how do you find the factors of this denominator? I found that since it was positive number, it was positive three. And I figured out that two, only two factors of three, and it was uh, one and three. Right. And since it's negative four x. That's negative. So you know that it has to be negative here, right? Yeah, both of them. So both these have to be negative x and x. And so this is going to be the factor, uh, the denominator factor. And according to this one here, it's going to be, that would be x equals 1, or does not equal to 1, right? And x is not equal to 3, 3, 3 and 1. And so we look at our answer choices, and our answer, answer choices really gave it, did us a favor, because we don't see that there. And so already they've removed an opportunity for mistakes from us just by looking at the answer choices, so we don't see those. So we know that it's going to have to do something with what's on the top. Now, how do we factor out what's on top here? I separated four from the rest of these equations. Right, so you have a greatest common factor here of four. So if we take out four from the numerator, we have four and we have left x squared and then minus 2x and then minus three. minus 3 and so we have something that we can factor again and how do we, what's going to be factoring of x squared? I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, it's going to be again 3 and 1 but it's going to be minus 3 and plus 1 so x minus 3 and x plus 1 and it's going to be minus 3x plus x, so minus 2x. And so we can replace that. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just rewrite it below here. Quantity x minus 3 times quantity x plus 1. And so what we have here is, do we have a removable discontinuity here? X minus 3. Yeah, these two will cancel out. And so this is what we have left, and so what is our vertical asymptote going to be? We have x minus 1 equals 0, which means it cannot equal 0. That's the vertical asymptote. If we add 1, so x equals 1, and therefore b will be our correct answer. But the, I did with the opposite. What I, the one that I took out, I actually... I don't know why. Uh -huh. I mean, why would you choose x plus 1 and why would you choose the 1? I mean, why don't you choose x plus 1 in the top? x plus 1? Oh. That's the factoring. That's the result of the factoring of this. So what you have left is x plus 1. After you cancel that. Oh, and I forgot to bring down the, the, four. the 4, right? But that really doesn't matter, right? Because it's going to be 4 times quantity x plus 1 over x minus 1. But at this point the denominator is all that really makes the distinction.